The Iowa caucuses are happening right now, and of course, no one knows exactly how it's going to turn out there or in New Hampshire. But let me argue one thing here. Donald Trump is way more nervous than he's letting on. Here's how you can tell. And in fact, there's a great moment from Star Wars that I'll show you in just a minute that demonstrates the whole thing. All year, Trump's been making the Thanos argument. I am inevitable. That's why he skipped all those Republican debates. Because he's so far ahead, why punch down? But then a funny thing happened a few weeks ago. Trump suddenly started running ads against Nikki Haley. We're just weeks to go until the New Hampshire primary. The Trump campaign is now going after GOP rival Nikki Haley. This marks the first time Trump's campaign has gone after Haley in an effort to blunt her rising popularity as polls show her gaining on Trump. So much for inevitability. Haley's doubled her support in the last two months while Trump has flatlined. And even in Iowa, where she's further behind, she's also doubled over the last two months. The next clue is that Trump broke one of his major patterns. He's kind of got a thing for the size of his crowds, his bank account, his hands. And he referred to my hands. If they're small, something else must be small. I guarantee you there's no problem. I guarantee you. It's weird. And all year, Trump's been bragging about the size of his polling leads. And then, all of a sudden, Trump kind of started contradicting himself in the same breath. Guess who's actually skeptical of polls showing Trump with giant, insurmountable leads? Apparently, Trump himself. You know, uh, just don't go by the polls. It seemed to be dawning on him that maybe the polling wasn't quite what he'd been selling, a fact that Nikki Haley's campaign helpfully compiled into this summary. I mean, against the Republicans, we're up 60 points, 60. We have like a 60-point lead everywhere. Great polls just out, leading by 40, 50, and even 60 points. They can't beat me. They're 50, 60 points down. But the real kicker was slipped into a Politico story a few days ago with this quote from Trump's top advisor to reporters. A win is a win, but anything over 12 points, I think, is a great night. If mm -hmm. he's not worried, why is his campaign lowering expectations? Well, because of the spread. Maybe they won't win by 12 points. Now... I know what you're thinking, and you're right. Campaigns always try to lower expectations. And that's what gets us to the Star Wars moment. Analyze their attack, sir, and there is a danger. Should I have your ship standing by? Evacuate? In our moment of triumph? I think you overestimate their chances. Make no mistake. If Trump really felt the same overconfidence as Grand Moff Tarkin, he wouldn't be spending money he desperately needs for his legal defense and admitting that he doesn't actually believe the polls. He's being asked, should we have your ship standing by? And he's saying, yes. Why? Because as that doomed Imperial officer says, there is a danger here. Because if Haley picks up some momentum in Iowa, she's in striking distance in New Hampshire. After that, she's got her home state of South Carolina. And yes, I know that Super Tuesday on March 5th has 15 races that are largely stacked against her. But she could get enough injection of donor money and press attention in the meantime to turn this into a slog. And she's going to have every incentive to do that because Trump's criminal trials are set to start at about the same time. And that alone could keep her in the game. So again, we don't know what the next few weeks holds. But don't buy the bluster from Trump. President Trump, are you worried about Nikki Haley gaining on you in New Not Hampshire? Because in his mind, he's picturing this. 